The thing I love about acting is that we get to be any age and play make-believe anytime we want, which is just the best job in the world. I think a little bit of naivete helps a lot when you're starting out because if you know the rules, sometimes you're so worried about not breaking them. The stories that I hear of people that are succeeding are like, I didn't know better, so I just went for it. And I think you have to be ballsy and just go for it. When I first started, I used to crash all auditions. I crashed uh, the Canadian stage Dream in High Park, which gave me my first job, which was amazing. That gave me the kind of courage and uh, brazen qualities to uh, crash the Second City auditions. So they wouldn't actually see me for those auditions. And I was like, you're going to see me. So I went in and crashed them. And, uh, and uh, the rest is history. I got to work with them. And it was great. I think it's important to know what you want. If you can be clear about what you want as an actress, you can get that goal a lot more specifically. You know, I didn't want to be like 80 going, oh, I wish I'd done Second City. If it's like you want to be a lead in a movie, if it's you want to be uh, at Shaw or Stratford or Soul Pepper, make sure those goals are clear for you to, to excel in. I think you should always take classes. I went to Ryerson and it got me a, gave me a chance to try different things and not have to worry if I'm going to get fired. <laughs> Whereas when you get hired in the real life, you, you, know, you want to make sure that you're living up to the contract, which is what they want. So uh, I think it's good. I think my mentors were all people that didn't know they were my mentors. Like the folks from Second City, like SCTV, I grew up going, oh, I want to do that. And then watching as folks like um, Catherine O'Hara went on to do uh, shows that weren't all just funny, but also beautiful and heart touching. And I would be like, I want to do that. So they didn't even know they were my mentors, but they were. The film I did with Gavin, which was called Two for One, uh, it, it was really fun. Like it was a really great chance for us both because Gavin Crawford's like a joker and we were both challenged to do um, dramatic scenes as well. So I, I'm proud of being able to have that muscle as an actress of being able to be really funny but also uh, find heart-wrenching moments as well. So I, I think the more tools you can put in your tool belt as an actor, the better you are. If you can sing, if you can dance, if you can do comedy, if you can produce, if you can write, do it all. Don't let anybody stop you from doing things. If you want to be a filmmaker, make films. If you want to be an actress, act. Like you have the power to make all these things happen. And don't wait for other people to give you the opportunities. Because I think it's, it's empowering. Like we started the National Theatre of the World six years ago. And I can do a show tomorrow if I want to. I can do that. But if I'm waiting for people to phone me, then I'm sort of at somebody else's beck and call. You know, I think it's, it's taking your career and holding it in your hands and making sure you're in control of it. Audition horror stories. Yes, of course. Who doesn't have audition horror stories? One story that I, I went into to uh, do this audition and I thought I was like, I nailed it. And you never really feel like you nailed it. You always feel like it was okay. But I was like, no, I feel really confident about that. I leave and I'd, I'd rush the whole day. So I'd like thrown on my costume at the last minute and run in. I left and I'd honest to God, I tucked my dress into my panties and I was like nailed it. One of my favorite quotes it was from uh, I think it's from Ron Peterson he said if you want to be fascinating get fascinated which I really love because the more curious you are the more interesting a person you are. Like I want to work with people that are kind and work hard. I don't want to work with jerks that are lazy so uh, it's sort of my it's like my motto.